We should be outraged. This is a heinous crime. Now at five, outrage from investigators in Miami-Dade after someone opens fire. Those bullets struck four people, including two children. The shooting happened outside of their home. That's where we find CBS Force Peter Dench with the very latest on the investigation. Peter? Elliot, Miami-Dade police are appealing for the community's help after... CBS 4 News. Peter, thank you for that. Now at 5, let's take a live look outside tonight. And after some morning showers, a refreshing change is just about here. A fall cold front is bringing relief from the heat and the humidity. Yeah, some South Florida cities could wake up to temperatures in the 60s. Let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. Craig, we welcome this. I know people hear that word 60s and it's like, uh, it's kind of jarring, right? Dade County makes history by swearing in its first female mayor. Daniela Levine Cava was sworn in this afternoon. Levine Cava beat out Commissioner Esteban Bovo for the job. She replaces Mayor Carlos Jimenez, who is now an incoming member of Congress. CBS Force Ty Russell is live with the details of today's swearing in ceremony. Ty. Carly, the mayor just started talking moments ago. Didn't now to the latest in the coronavirus pandemic. The U.S. has recorded more than 100,000 new cases a day over the last 14 days. Those numbers are much higher than they were early in the pandemic. And now 28 states have tightened restrictions. CBS Force Chris Martinez has a report from Los Angeles. Open a chance to reopen California. For More news ahead at five, including tragedy in Miami shores. A domestic violence incident ends with a man getting killed by a train. More on this investigation just ahead. Iota is now a tropical storm, but that downgrade in no way minimizes the damage and devastation the storm has had on the people of Central America still trying to recover from Ada. The record hurricane season has been simply relentless. Iota slammed Central America as a catastrophic Category 4 hurricane. CBS 4 Skylar Henry has the latest. Hurricane Iota, CBS News. Iota is the 30th named storm of the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season, which is a record. South Florida is coming together now to send relief to the people of Central America. And we have such strong connections there. The organization Love and Strength Honduras is filling boxes with supplies. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer in Doral with more on the relief efforts. On Tuesday morning, CBS 4 News. Well, that region needs so much help, right? I know, and it's nice to see everybody coming together because every little bit helps. You know, it's also nice to see our weather changing because Craig that always accuses me of complaining about our you? weather. It, me complain? <laughs> There's two seasons in South Florida. Election security is taking center stage on Capitol Hill. The heads of two of the world's biggest social media giants faced criticism from both sides of the aisle as they testified about their role in the 2020 presidential election. CBS 4's Deborah Alfaron has the latest from the White House. The CEOs of Facebook and Twitter defended CBS News, the White House. Both Zuckerberg and Dorsey testified that they are open to changes in the law. Now at 530, there are some new faces now making decisions for Broward County Public Schools. New school board members were sworn in at a ceremony today. The new members say they hope to be part of some big changes while on the board. And CBS 4's Joan Murray is live in Fort Lauderdale with more details. Joan. Carly Elliott, two people. Time to check out what's trending now. Hell hath no fury like a singer scorned. Taylor Swift is blasting a music executive for selling her music. Flashback to last year, the exec, Scooter Brown, acquired the rights to Swift's first six albums. If that wasn't enough to make the singer unhappy, he is now selling the entire catalog to a private company for a massive payday. All this while Swift was working to get the music back for herself. She says she wasn't even given the chance and has already begun re-recording her old music. I don't think I'd want to be on her bad side. <laughs> okay. A song of love from a son to his father, Wolfgang Van Halen dedicating his solo music debut, Distance, to his father, Eddie Van Halen. 
He died last month following a long battle with cancer. Wolfgang performs every instrument and vocal on the recording, and he is dedicating all of the proceeds to the Mr. Holland's Opus Foundation. What a beautiful tribute to his dad. And, and what talent in the family. It runs in the mm -hmm. fence in the jeans. There are always great videos and stories to see online. Check out more of what's trending on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and cbsmiami.com slash web extra. Still ahead at 5.30, call them the Fantastic Four, the latest on the SpaceX crew's historic mission up next. Four astronauts on board a newly designed SpaceX ship greeted their new crewmates at the International Space Station today. The three-man, one-woman crew latched with the ISS early this morning, greeting the existing crew of one U.S. astronaut and two Russian cosmonauts with hugs and high fives. The space station will be their home for the next six months. After that, another set of astronauts on a Crew Dragon capsule will replace them. That rotation will continue until Boeing joins the program with its own spacecraft late next year. So lucky they don't have to worry about COVID. I know, so amazing <laughs> no to see. Yeah. And a little, a little later in the video, you see Baby Yoda that comes up too, so he's also <laughs> okay. on board. I'll have but to rewind that and look at it. You'll have to check it out. Well, back in our atmosphere, Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer has a look at our forecast here at home, and it's a good one, Craig. We like it. It is a good one. I like what you did there with the atmosphere. Welcome back. A local art gallery is doing their part to keep the community safe from COVID-19. Olight Arts asked local filmmakers and artists to produce a one-minute outside-the-box video on why people should mask up, and they want you to choose the winner. CPS 4's Lisa Petrillo has a look. Uh -uh. Remember, you have until November 24th to cast your vote. You can go to oolightarts.org or go to our website at cbsmiami.com and have some fun with it. And remember, mask up, everybody. I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS 4 News. Of course, she's got a very fashionable mask. Well, Which one did you Lisa, like? Of course. Uh, well, the, the flamingo. <laughs> <Don't say it. laughs> this is family friendly television here. I mean, I how like could you possibly pick? I think they all took a, a lot yeah, of talent. They're all good. I like the flamingos, but we didn't see all of them, so we got to go to that website and check them out. That's CBS 4 News at 5.30. And here's what's next on CBS 4 News at 6. Both Miami-Dade and Broward County swear in new mayors, one making history. The challenges they both face on day one. The holiday season is just around the corner, but you should be planning much more than the menu right now. The growing concern of the holidays during a pandemic. And a hometown girl gets the nod. She's the unanimous pick to be the next president at Miami-Dade College. We meet her in just minutes. CBS 4 News at 6 starts right now. This is CBS 4 News at 6. First at 6, we're following breaking news right now out of Southwest Miami-Dade. Miami-Dade police are investigating two people found dead in a home in the Falls area. This is near Southwest 93rd Avenue and 136th Street. CBS 4's Jessica Vallejo is live at the scene. Jessica, what have you learned so far? Well, this is still a very active scene. The state of Florida is closing in on 900,000 cases since the start of the pandemic. The state added nearly 7,500 cases today and another 86 deaths. Nearly 1,900 of those cases were in Miami-Dade County alone. More than 900 of them in Broward and 15 in Monroe County. South Florida reported an additional 16 deaths. And now at six, two words we love to hear right now, a cold front moving through South Florida as we speak, but we probably won't be breaking out the sweaters anytime well, soon. I don't need to dust it off yet. All no. right. CBS 4 Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer has the details. Craig. I know everybody wants to get the sweaters on. Take it easy. We're getting close. But the virus surging and Thanksgiving on the horizon. It appears plenty of Floridians are still going to hit the road and gather with their families. AAA is predicting a 5% reduction in traffic this Thanksgiving compared to last year. As CBS 4's Hank Tester reports, medical professionals fear Thanksgiving could produce more cases of COVID-19. As the nation sets up to pause for the Thanksgiving holiday. So our news for now, the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell is next. And don't forget, you can watch all of our newscasts streaming live on our website, cbsmiami.com. We're back in half an hour with CBS 4 News at 7. Good night.